Hey guys, I am bringing you all something that's going to be kind of cool, and I don't know if some of you might like it, but this thing here has the ability, watch what I'm going to show you here, to charge 24 volt, let me get in closer there, 12 and 24 volt, and it'll run, I don't care if you're in Europe, uh, you, of course if you're in Europe they'll give you the right kind of plug, mine's got that on it, um, and the charging system on it is really cool so I I want to show you this now I had a friend of mine he had his over here and we were doing a little battery restore of his batteries and I'm like well what is what the hell is that he says oh you got you're gonna love this watch this thing and I'm and it's it's cool so this is now they're gonna come by different brands but I'll put a link below the video to where this come from and um, they're only about, they're, they're less than 30 bucks, right at 30 bucks. But in comparison to all the other battery chargers we've used for conditioning batteries or, you know, resurrecting batteries or just making sure that your battery is in damn good condition, they, they have a tendency to boil your battery, uh, even the good ones. So this here, because he has a bunch of watercraft uh, equipment, he uses this stuff, or this thing here. So I want you to look down here. I'm going to get a close-up, and you'll see what the details are here. You see what it's doing there? Idle, trickle, charging, float, current, uh, constant voltage, constant current. And you can leave this hooked up like in your RV. Here's the coolest part. This thing don't use no power at all. I mean, it's it's like... It's just a few watts to do what it's doing because it's using some really cool rectification system that's inside of it. And it only weighs about two and a half to three pounds. So I'm going to tell you that when you see how this runs and what it does to the battery, it's kind of cool. Now, I've got a battery. Uh, we're going to be putting in a guy's uh, RV. And we went and picked it up for him. So there it is, your standard max battery. And I did a voltage check on it, and uh, static voltage ought to be around 12.6, 12.64, or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over here, and we're going to hook it up. And you're going to see that this unit comes on. And it, right now, as there it is, 12.8 volts. So it shows it at 100%. Now that's 100% sitting voltage. And this has the ability to go manual or auto. But... Um, I'm not going to try this on my inverter because I don't know how uh, fine the electronics are on it. So I had to run a cord over to the wall outlet. We have two wall outlets here in the shop that are still on the utility uh, along with my water well. So you guys who know I'm off grid. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged in here. Because I just kind of rather have that feature of being on a utility. Now what it's showing here is it showing that the battery's actual state of charge was only 36%. So if you thought, uh, in, in other words, if I would have hit this with a tester, with a load test, it pro the, the battery would probably drop because this is typical of a Walmart battery. You get them, you test them, you're like, hell, 12.6, 12.8, it's a good battery, let's go. Well, not always. Um, but I want to make sure the battery is really in premium condition before we put it in. Uh, for what it's going to be running so there you go let me get a better view of it right here so it's at 34 percent and it's showing you what it's doing so let me push it back here a little bit and I'm just going to give you this right here so right now it's in charge cycle it's pushing 13.5 volts at 7.2 amps Now you can watch it, and what it's going to do is as it, the battery gets up to about 14.2. Now, that's premium charge rate for a regular 12-volt battery. Not lithium, but a regular 12-volt battery. Uh, SLA gel or 12 uh, regular flooded, that's about right. Uh, flooded, I think they run them up, uh, you can run them up 14.5 safely. But this is set to only do what it'll cover on all batteries. So in other words, if you have an Optima or something like that, this this doesn't hurt them. That's what I like about it, because he had Optima batteries. Now, I don't personally like Optima batteries. So now as you see the voltage went up a little bit, 
the percentage dropped. You see that, what it's doing? Now look over here. It's determined, of course, 12 volt. I'm going to hold that on there. I don't want to bore anybody with this, but we want to make sure that this battery gets a premium result. So as you see, 13.8 volts. So as it's going to push the battery up to its premium voltage of about 14.1 or 2, and then you'll watch that percentage start going up. All right, now you'll see it's hitting 14.2%. That that's its peak voltage range. And now watch that percentage rate. So because the voltage itself was going up, it made the percentage scale down. This is really seriously computer controlled. I've, I've had a lot of these computer controlled ones and they don't do like this does. And he got one of these originally because they wanted a battery charger for his mother's wheelchair. She has, well, she has two of those uh, batteries in it. It's 24 volt. And they wanted 185 bucks for it. And he said, well, what the hell? So he looked for one of these and he got this. And you can see right there, Right over here, 24 volt, and it's automatic. So if you have a 24 volt battery bank, this will charge it. Now you don't want to go with a huge battery bank, but say you got four batteries rigged up 24 volt, and you want to keep them trimmed off, this is excellent. So watch what it's doing. It's going to feather down those amps, and the reason it does that is because it's actually affecting its charge better. What it'll do is it'll eventually get over here and get into float. So you'll have it in the float here pretty soon. I didn't want to make a long, crazy video, but. Quite a smart unit for it doing what it's doing. Now he's had his about probably eight or 10 months and used it a whole lot and so far never a problem. So here's the deal. You're wondering why is it doing this? Why is this right here, the amperage, going further down? Because if you notice at this volt level, right there of 14.2 volts, the higher the amps, the more your, your uh, water will cook off your battery. So these chargers that don't have this kind of a feature where they lower their amps, and there's quite a few that do, but that lower their amps as they reach a higher percentage. So you see right there, it's getting to 77%, and it's going to keep dropping its amps down. And when it gets to the bottom level of 100% of battery power, it's going to barely be any amps at all. In fact, it trickles at 0.25, uh, sets it float at 0.25. And the wattage draw of this thing right here, this is only pulling 12 watts when it's doing that. So you see it's checking float right now at 81%. So DOD of 80%. See what it's doing? This is the healthiest damn battery charger I've ever got my hands on. And when he left, I had to get one. So All right, so what you're going to see here in this next few seconds, because I'm watching it knowing it's going to be a long video, is I'm just going to speed this up. So starting at this point right now, I'll speed this up. All right, now as you can see there, it's gone to trickle charge. You saw it going back and forth. That was in fast motion on the video. Uh, I wanted to make sure you guys could see those features and what it was doing. And then, um, if you want to stay around for about another 20 minutes, I don't think you do. And I don't think I want to run at high speed at that rate. Um, what it's going to do, it's going to bounce back and forth. And then it'll get up here and light up the constant voltage and the float. So uh, it'll do that for a while, and then it'll go into idle mode, which is that one right over there. And at that point, 
you have your battery being in save. So usually in the last seven or less percentage, right now it's at 95%, that is considered a full charge battery at 95%, believe it or not, but it'll continue to maintain and you'll see it get to 100%, but it takes about two hours. Now, uh, this is proof that you can maintain a good battery or you can check a good battery or bring it up to a good current state so that it has a solid purpose to it. Now you see now it's dropped below one amp to 0.9 and it's going to continue to do that constantly monitoring the health of this battery and when you get this, when you get one of these, you're going to love it because you can hook this to your RV and you're only pulling about 45 watts of power when it's full charging. So it's got some kind of a a processor in it that helps it get the full power that it needs. Uh, if it goes to full 12 amps, it's going to pull about probably 100 watts, but it's very brief. And you, it, it's safe enough to leave constantly. It does have built into it a cooling fan that is a very nice one. And believe it or not, it's running right now. Let me see if I can get you to listen to it. You can hear it. It's just totally silent. And the fan is made in Singapore, so probably better than a Chinese one. However, um, go check them out. This is the perfect thing for wheelchairs, scooters, other electric things that you use uh, that you have either NICADs or, or lead acid on. I don't recommend them for lithium, but it will work. But this is a badass battery charger. You can look more details on it and uh, go down there at the bottom of that link. You're going to see where it's at. And they got a whole lot of specs and reviews um, of people who didn't cross the wires in it are usually really good so there you go guys add pal i'm sure there's numerous rebrandings but it's a good one it works great all right guys be good